In this video, we're going to have a look at how the Report Designer Layout Generator works. As you learned from previous videos in this series, the Layout Generator has replaced the Excel Genie. So let us introduce you to the power of this new tool. Improvements have been made to the user interface, meaning that the Layout Generator is more intuitive and easy to use. We have also enhanced the generation engine, allowing it to run from in-memory technology, resulting in improved performance. Let's have a look at how these layouts are set up. The layout generator can be opened in Microsoft Excel once you have run the Financial Report Designer report in the Sage Intelligence Report Manager. Once the report has loaded into Excel, click on the BR Tools tab. Here you can open and edit a standard or previously saved layout by using the Quick Edit option as seen in the previous video. Now that the Layout Generator interface has opened, you will need to configure the following areas. The Layout options of the Layout Generator is where you specify filters which apply to the entire layout once generated into Excel. These include your company name, year, and if you have set them up, a reporting tree unit. The Text Columns tab provides you with a predefined set of descriptive columns for you to add to your layout design. For example, you can add accounts and row descriptions. The Columns tab will give you the column fields you would like to see across the top of your layout. For example, under the Formulas heading, you can add predefined formulas such as Actual 01, Actual 02 and Actual 03. By clicking on the Calculations heading, you can select calculations such as Actual Year to Date, Budget Quarter 1, Prior Actual Year to Date, and so on. You also have the ability to create your own calculations by selecting the Add Calculation option. We will elaborate on this functionality in a later video. The Rows tab is where you will find all of your account and calculated rows. The rows that appear are determined by the row set that has been selected. In this example, you can see that the Income Statement Financial Account Range row set has been selected. And the account rows include Sales, Cost of Sales, Expenses and Other Income. The calculated rows include Gross Profit and Net Profit. You can also create your own calculated rows by using the Add Calculation functionality. Once created, they will be placed in the Calculation Rows section. You can then add them to your financial layouts. Row sets and custom calculations will be covered in more detail in later videos in this series. Now that you have set up your layout options, text columns, columns and rows, you can save and generate your layout. This layout will now be available to use in Quick Generate, Quick Edit, Manage Layouts and also in the Layouts tab of your task pane. Remember, you will need to save Excel template in your report manager in order to use this layout again after the workbook is closed. So let's sum up what you've seen in this overview. You saw the new layout generator and how it relates back to your Microsoft Excel report. The next video in the series explains row sets in more detail. Feel free to connect with us on the Sage Intelligence website or the Sage Intelligence community. Just to let you know, we love feedback, so if you found this video useful, please like it and share it on your social media channels.